Continuing coverage of the downtown explosion, many unknowns remain about the future of the Realty Building, especially for the residents who called it home. First News Weekend Morning Anchor Samantha Bender is live downtown to share more details. Dave, ask almost anyone about the Realty Building situation, and they'll tell you it's a waiting game. If the building is demolished, like the mayor announced Monday, there are certain things that come into play depending on each person's renter's policy. Now, if talks of potentially saving the building end up working, or if residents are granted access back into the building, that also changes the game. Now, experts and residents are weighing in. Take a listen. Over three weeks since the deadly blast in downtown Youngstown, residents are still unsure if they'll ever see the items inside their apartments again. There wasn't any thought of grabbing anything, um, just kind of go into autopilot and grab what was alive, you know what I mean, my pet, um, and get myself out. So I left with what was in my pockets. I had my purse on me that day and a car key. Uh, my cell phone, same thing for my husband. Deanna Rossi had been living in the Realty building for 11 years with her husband and two kids. She says it's a different headache every day. Important documents still sitting inside that are difficult to replace and tons of things worth a lot both monetarily and sentimentally. The biggest thing is that I don't want to go through with rebuying everything because there is that constant like what if we're able to get back in? Now, most are at a standstill. This is a unique situation where, you know, some units, their, their property's not damaged and they just can't get to it. Attorney Corey Grimm tells me renter's insurance covers things like loss of property and additional living expenses. He encourages those with renter's insurance to make claims. Even then, he says it's going to be a bit of a waiting game. But even without renter's insurance, he could see there being recovery for these people. I believe there'll be insurance coverage and there'll be some responsibility and it's likely there's either a lawsuit or some kind of class action that will provide some recovery for those people. But it's so early at this stage that we're not going to know that right now. One of Grimm's biggest pieces of advice, make sure you have an idea and documentation of your damages. Grimm encourages residents to put together a list of the items inside their apartment and try to put a value to those things. That way, if something happens or their belongings are destroyed, they have an idea of what their loss is. Now, just to recap, if you have renter's insurance, you're encouraged to make a claim. If not, it's probably time to start talking with lawyers about what the next steps are in terms of getting advice. Meantime, residents say they're just looking for a definitive answer on whether whether or not they'll be able to re-enter the building. That way they can determine how they plan to move forward. Live in downtown Youngstown, Samantha Bender, First News at 6. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.